There is no more important indication of a weak economy than one that cannot be sustained on its own. A stock market which has been held up by nothing more than our imagination is sure to take a turn for the worse. But who will be left holding the worthless paper confetti when it all comes down? You came here for the truth. Today we are going to look at what has been keeping this economy alive. Let's begin. The fruit of financialization, soaring income inequality. What we are seeing here with these two lines, the gray line is 1980, the red line is 2014, and you will see the lower income households had the highest growth in 1980. This line shows you that the higher the income, the lower the growth rate. Well, things have really changed. It's reversed. The higher the income, the higher the growth rate. Look at this going straight to the moon. Now, the super wealthy garner virtually all of the income growth. That connects in with this next chart. For richer and poorer, average family income excluding capital gains adjusted for inflation. And we have two lines, 2002 is in the gold color and the blue color is 2012. While there is obviously a disparity here, what's important to note is that, first of all, there's the bottom 90% of people have seen a decline in the average family income. Whereas you look at the rest, they're all gaining. But I believe that the finger is pointed at the wrong people. There's the top 1%, or in this case, top 1% is 0 0.5. But a lot of people are focusing on the top 10% to 5%. Where it's the individual, maybe he earns $200,000 a year, and he drives a Ferrari, and he's doing well. A lot of people focus their attention on those individuals, and I think that is a big mistake. Because it's not those people who are earning the most amount of income, who are taking the most from you and I. They may hire people. They may be a small business. They may be doing a lot of things for the community. However, the further up the ladder we go, the worse it becomes. The top 0.01%, in fact, increased 76%. You can see, once again, there is that disparity there, and you will have to understand that those in the richest of the rich, they are the ones with the most money, they have been getting the most income increases, they have the most control, they have the most power over everything, every sector, every single thing that we are involved in. These charts will continue to become more exaggerated as time goes on. It is a simple matter of fact. Unless something major changes, I don't see that because, in fact, during any crises, we see that these have really just gotten even worse. They use these crises as a basically their chance to consolidate power, and they will do so again in the future. It's pretty obvious. The simple reason why 80% of Americans can't save money. There's a couple points that I wanted to make here. We're looking at this dotted line as income needed by a family of four, okay? And the bottom 80% is not even there. Look at this like dismal growth that we have seen since they're showing here 1967, okay? When you compare that to the top 20% and the top 5%, you will see that the richer you are, the richer you've become. That's sort of self-fulfilling prophecy. Now, this is what I wanted to get into for this video here. There are three charts interconnected with this. Consumer credit low and behold, a record high. It doesn't surprise me that we have surpassed what was seen during the financial crisis today, and we are seeing a very high level of escalation just in the recent period here, but that this will have to increase because debt cannot go down. Credit must be expanded for the system to 
continue. If as long as everybody paid everything back, the whole system would be a thing of the past. So that connects in with this right here, showing you essentially the same information, but from the Fed, directly from their website, total revolving credit owned and securitized. And right here, like I said, you'll see the same information. The reason I mention this is this, securitized. Imagine your debt, which was created out of thin air, is then packaged up, they place a bow on top of it, and they sell it to the highest bidder. It's a fraud, it's a scheme that they've been not only allowed to do, they have been increasing since the financial crisis. Things have become worse. These are derivative products, and derivatives are something that nobody, nobody should ever get into. This is far more dangerous than any of the other markets out there. People don't realize that, but that's simple matter of fact. Let's go to the next one here quickly. Credit fueled consumption, comparing the personal consumption expenditures, and the red line is debt. And you'll see that while, yes, the consumption has increased every single year, except for a little blip during the financial crisis, Debt has expanded astronomically, and that's what people do. I think that this is a big mistake to expand the debt. As an individual, you want to pay down your debt because those in control have created this debt as a system to enslave us. However, we have the power to fight back. Spot palladium. I needed to mention this because the numbers had become so high. In fact, palladium had hit a level it hadn't hit for basically this is back in 2000 2001 right at its peak there so this level has come up dramatically and it's been on fire for the last two years essentially going up in a straight line it's something to keep your eyes on it's certainly a lot stronger than it was during the last rise where we saw it become meteoric in a very short period of time, but of course dropped just as fast. And two more very quickly here to talk about Amazon. I've been just researching a lot of what Amazon is doing. Active fulfillment centers, look at this. They have 230, okay? The next largest one has 23. They are dominating. I mean, this company is taking over everything. I don't think we're allowed to talk about this on here anymore. I'll, I'll stop right there. But anyway, it's approximately 40 times more fulfillment logistics centers across the U.S. than the average number of DCs across our coverage universe. Okay, it's just, it's huge. It is something that we need to really look at because you can see that it goes from being um, something of convenience, something of, you know, something to look into, and then it goes into, okay, wait a second, this is a huge monopoly, this is causing a lot of problems, and it's going to do what Walmart had done to a lot of small shops, and now Amazon could put everything out of business very fast, much faster than what Walmart had done to small towns everywhere. In a short span of time, Amazon has wreaked havoc with retailers by flexing its online muscle. It launched an onslaught of ebooks, drones, and digital butlers. And then it went in and bought Whole Foods. Now it's gearing up to unleash on the British fashion market in the form of a velvet thigh, high boots, oversized trench coats, and celestial patterned dresses. They're getting in to fashion. So they are expanding into every market, it seems. It has been going up just on such a high degree, their stock itself, but also the interest in the company. They've been acquiring companies along the way quietly, not really saying too much. And this is something that we need to realize that it's becoming quite a threat. That's all I'm going to say. I mean, obviously, it's, it's great for some reasons. The fact that I'm able to sell my book on there is, is excellent. But at the same time, it's a double-edged sword because we need to look at the possibilities of it all. So that's all for this video.
If you found it informative, please give me a thumbs up. And if you found the video informative, I know you will find my books, The Money GPS, and my newer release, Global Economic Collapse, even more informative. You can look through these books for yourself. The first book is about the four asset classes and how to profit from it, whereas Global Economic Collapse is about reducing your monthly expenses, becoming self-sufficient, solar panels, and much more that is at Amazon. You can flip through them. Links are in the description below. Take care.